Oh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the last video, we ran around on the beach for a while, gathering up some of those delicious manila clams so that we could make a bunch of fishing bait. And then we proceeded to do some fishing. And I was trying to find the following two fish, a mahai mahai and a giant tray valley, which are available on the pier all day, and they are the largest shadows. You know, sometimes you see those really, really big shadows. That's what we need to find on the pier. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find those two fishes on the pier, but we did manage to find a few new fish. I got a seahorse, I also got a, sturge, a surgeon fish, and I also got a clownfish, aka Nemo, Dory, and a seahorse. So we did actually have a good day's fishing in the last video, but what we're going to do today is I'm going to head over to Blabbers and I'm going to give him these three new fishes. We're going to sell the rest of the fish and then I'm going to run around on the beach again, quickly gather up some more manila clams because we're getting very low on bait as you can see. And then I'm going to come back to the pier and we're once again going to attempt to try and find the Mahai Mahai and the Trey Valley fish, which hopefully we can get in this video. But let me uh, quickly go over to Blabbers and give him the new fishes. I'm not going to bother um, giving um, the fish to him one at a time. Because if you give the fish to him one at a time, then he will give you a description about the fish. Which is very nice, but as I want to get a bunch of bait today and also do a bunch of fishing today, I don't want to spend too much time listening to Blabbers talk. So I'm just going to give them to him in bulk. I love Blabbers though. I think I think out of the uh, the main characters, I'm not too sure who's my favourite. Uh, uh, it's probably a toss up between Isabel, which I think is pretty generic, really. Isabel or Blabbers. Tom Look is he's, he's all right. He's cute, and so are Timmy and Tommy. But I, th I think Blabbers is probably my favourite, maybe. I do love Isabel though. She's adorable. I think a lot of people love Isabel. I don't want to have like a generic opinion, but uh, yeah, I, th I think I do like. Maybe Isabel a bit more. Oh dear, pardon me. Good morning, Bee Wolf. Welcome to the Wolf Town Museum. You know, we are still hosting the stamp rally today as well. Of course, there is still fun to be had even if you've already completed the stamp rally. The stamp stations move each day, you see. That's That way, the rally remains a fresh challenge even for those who've already given it a go. Alas the, men alas, the mementos do remain the same. Still, you can win additional copies by playing each new day. Yes, yeah, so if you want to get a bunch of those, uh, you see those um, plaques on the wall. If you want to get all four of those again, maybe you want to give it to someone, trade it for something. Maybe you want to sell it on that website, Nukazon, which I've only just found out about recently, which is a bloody brilliant website. But you've got to be very trusting. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, it's a website where you've got to trust other players to trade stuff with you for money. Like if you've got a villager that's moving, you go on Nukazon and you pull it on there for sale. And then somebody can come to your island, talk to your moving resident and ask that resident to move to their island. And they'll, they'll give you like... Sometimes million of, millions of bells if you've got the rare characters. So it's, uh, it's a good website, but obviously you've got to be trusting. There are, there are ways to make sure you don't get screwed over, like turning off your switch very quickly if, they, if you see any shady activity. But good website to check out if you want to. Tis quite a hoot. Do give it a try. I've already done it. I don't want to do it again. I want to give you stuff. Might there be something with which I can assist you? Make a donation. Marvellous. What would you like to donate? Sorry if I'm reading really badly. I'm feeling extremely tired suddenly. I don't know why. <laughs> Sometimes I just get hit with like a wave of just very, very tired. Not good. Woohoo! Several things I see. Let us take a look, shall we? Splendid. We will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, no need to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. Might I help you with anything else? I'm fine. Jolly good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. Because uh, when you give him one at a time, you actually hand it to him and then he gives you like a little analysis of what you're giving him. So if you want to learn about things, whether it's dinosaurs, um, fish or bugs, it's good to give it to him. I think he, I think he might give you a little bit of a description about the, uh, about the um, thingies as well, what they called. The... Uh, the paintings, but I'm not 100% sure about that. 
But I'm going to head over to Timmy and Tommy's and I'm going to start selling some of this, um, some of these fish. And I'm going to gather up some clams on the way back. For some reason, I'm only getting clams up here on this little bit of beach right here. And also the beach near where my orchard is. But I don't seem to be getting any um, on, the, on the main part of the beach where Gullivere is currently laying down. And also the other bit of beach where my mountain is for some reason. Which is annoying because it's making it harder for me to gather up a bunch of bait. I don't have any in my storage if you're wondering. Check out my Nook Miles in a minute as well. Let's put these over here. I need to go to my bank actually and put that money in the bank. Um, uh, one thing, a little tip for you, if you want to make a bit of extra money, or also if you want to have like any of these fish made into like a really nice little statue, which I, I guess is a bit evil actually, it's a bit like poaching to be honest, but uh, if you want to have any of these fish turned into a little statue, or, you, or like a little plaque, whatever you want to call it, so you can display them, or if you want to make a bit of extra money, if you wait, uh, a, a, a guy named CJ, I think he's a beaver or something, or a golfer, he visits your island and uh, you can give him free fish that he'll then send off to his buddy to get turned into a statue, or you can sell fish to him for 50% more. So if a fish normally sells for 100 at Timmy and Tommy's, he'll sell for like 150 with CJ. And the same thing uh, goes for bugs as well, with Flick, if you want to sell them for more or have them turned into a statue, you can. But uh, they don't visit, they visit every now and again, maybe once every two weeks. And I think during the summer they also have like tournaments as well that you can participate in. Which I've never actually participated in because I didn't have the game last summer. So that should be coming up soon as well. Something that I've never actually experienced. And I think you might even be able to get trophies for doing that. Not 100% sure though. Like I said, anyone's got any tips for me or anything you want me to do in this game, let me know in the comments below. If you've got any cool like video ideas and things you want me to do or things that I might not know about as somebody that's never really played the previous games, let me know in the comments. I don't mind doing it. The more comments you give me and the more ideas you give me, the more I play this game. So if you're enjoying me playing this game, you know, you get what you want if you uh, help me out with ideas. Because <laughs> I don't like to play a game too much if I don't feel like I'm really doing anything fun, you know? Especially games like this where there's not actually an ending. Well, there kind of is an ending in this game if you end after uh, you finally get um, a KK Slider to come to your island. I suppose that's technically the ending, but it's a game that don't really end. I kind of wish I kept playing Dreams. I only stopped because I had other games to play. I do intend on going back to Dreams. I know people asked me to play it again, and I did mention I was going to do, a, do it when the PS5 released. I do intend on doing it, but I'm just waiting until there's like a, a period where not many games are coming out. And at the moment, it's very N Nintendo Switch heavy for me for the next uh, month or so. So uh, I'll be playing a lot of Nint Nintendo games, and also Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. But uh, maybe in August, once I've done my two PS1 playthroughs that I plan on doing, AKA Hogs of War and Sheep, Dog and Wolf. Or if you're from America, Sheep Raider. Which uh, I cannot wait to play that. That's another game I played a lot when I was a kid and never actually finished because I got stuck. Because in uh, Sheep, Dog and Wolf, uh, you pretty much your mission is to get the sheep. And I got to one level and all of the sheep and the sheep dog were behind this wall of ice and I had absolutely no idea whatsoever how to get past this wall of ice. And I never ever played the game ever again after that because it was a game I rented because as I've mentioned I never owned many games when I was a kid because of just financial situations and stuff like that so it was always like renting for 50p and stuff like that oh look first time I've had a uh, a uh, clan this close to uh, Gullivir Gullivar Gullivir whichever one he is Gullivir ain't it Gullivar is the pirate guy I haven't spoken to him if you're wondering because he makes you pick up communicators and they appear in the same place that the Manila clams appear. And we don't want that because we're trying to get bait. Just awkward digging them up because you always end up digging in the wrong bloody spot. But yeah, Hogs of War is a 3D version of Worms. You know like Worms for Mayhem. It's basically like that but this came out before Worms for Mayhem. This came out on the PS1. And it's uh, one of those turn-based 
fighting games just like worms and it is absolutely amazing and one of the voice actors in it is a comedian from London so uh, I know who he is so his voice acting is top notch and then we've also got uh, Sheepdog and Wolf which I already spoke about it's like a puzzle like a puzzle platforming sort of game where you've got to solve puzzles to try and steal the sheep and not get caught by that bloody sheepdog who always catches me and scares the hell out of me because he just runs up and grabs you around the neck Oh, what's up, Whitney? You better not be thinking about leaving, because you are not leaving. Humph. <laughs> Derwin told me I sound weird when I say snappy. I don't really sound weird, do I? <laughs> but maybe a little. Nah, you're fine. I mean, it suits you. You're a wolf. Wolves are snappy. Oh, that's so nice of you to say. Well, you, you do have excellent taste. So if you say it's fine, then it must be fine. I shall keep it, Snappy. Weird. Humph. <laughs> uh, don't let anybody treat you like that. Don't let anybody treat you like that. You act how you want to act. And that is a tip for all of you Wolf and Wolfettes. You act how you want to act. Don't let anybody tell you you're weird. Don't let anybody tell you you're strange. Don't let anybody tell you what you can enjoy and how you can act. If you want to go to school or you want to go to work, Unless it's against uh, school uniform, then you might get told off, which in that case, you're just going to have to deal with it and suck it up, unfortunately. But if there's not too much uh, heavy rules with regards to like hair and stuff like that, and piercings, if you want to go to school and you want to have like black, pink and green hair that's spiky, and you want to have like a, a flipping eyebrow piercing, a lip piercing, a nose piercing, if you want to uh, call everybody flipping, I don't know, jellyfish as like a nickname or something, you want to do that, you go and do it. Don't you ever, ever, any of you, don't you ever, ever change who you are. Enjoy who you are. Be different and be unique. And don't let anybody bully, bully you into changing who you are. Don't let anybody bully you in any sorts of ways. Whether you wear glasses, whether you've got uh, braces, whether you've, I don't know, what, what all the things they normally insult people for, whether you're overweight. Don't let anybody, anybody, and I mean anybody, even family members, even your friends, friends, don't let anybody make you feel bad about who you are. Nobody. Always be proud of who you are, Wolf and Wolfettes. Because even if no one else is going to be nice to you, I'm going to be nice to you. I think you're amazing. Don't let anybody treat you like shit and change who you are. Because in the long run, you will regret it when you just become like everybody else. And in regards, in my case, listening to other people caused me to uh, really, really, really mess up my life, to be honest. Both in a uh, job-related sense, because of my GCSEs being messed up, because of me having an operation on my eye, which went horrifically wrong. And also in a mental way as well, dealing with like depression and stuff like that. So yeah, don't, don't let anybody ever bring you down and change who you are. Like another thing, like when I was in secondary school, I, I, I love, you, you guys and girls know I love Pokemon. I talk about it all the time now, but when I was in a secondary school, like somebody really gave me shit for playing Pokemon when I was in year seven. Like, oh, I was too old to play it. I'm a baby or whatever they said. It was a lot more violent than that, but I'm just like, what I remember, I don't really remember the comment now, thankfully. But yeah, they really gave me shit for playing Pokemon. And I, like a fucking prick, I listened. And uh, I didn't play Pokemon anymore. I, would, I, would, I don't get what they're talking about. Too old to play Pokemon. I was 11. 11. <laughs> How is that too old for Pokemon? Man, they try and make kids grow up so flipping quick now. But this was another kid that said it. More like they're just too shit at games. And they, didn't, they weren't good at Pokemon. So they didn't want me to play it. Because they didn't like my mad skills. That's probably the real reason. Yeah, and I didn't play it for years. Now I don't know any of the new Pokemon. I stopped playing around Diamond and Pearl, I think it was. Right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna use this bait because otherwise uh, this whole vi oh hang on this whole oh shit look as soon as I went to uh, start making bait a few more appeared. Yeah, I don't want to spend a whole video of me just running around talking about like depressing things and uh, digging up clams. That's a weird combination, ain't it? <laughs> So in yesterday's video, I spoke about depression, spoke about bullies, and dug up clams on the beach. Uh, that's a pretty weird video, ain't it? And it all popped up now, didn't I? I should say it more often and I'll get more clams.
be honest with Wolf Morphets, if you are uh, dealing with any stuff like that, with people judging you for how you look or how you act and stuff like that, promise me right now in the comments, or just promise me with your voice, you ain't even got to write a comment. Just say it to the screen right now, I promise you, Beowulf, I'm never going to change who I am because of the haters and the scumbag of the world who are not even comfortable in their own skin. They just want to be like everyone else to fit in because that's the easy way of doing things. That is the easy way. Fitting in is so easy, but it's boring as hell. You don't want to fit in, you want to stand out. You want to shine. You want to be different. Everybody wants to chat with me now. <laughs> spat everywhere then sorry about that glad i caught you i got a portable radio that i didn't really need oh don't give me a portable radio you everybody giving me portable radios i've got like i've got like four <laughs> i don't want it phoebe stop giving me your junk you know you know how you'll already have something but then forget and buy another one it's like that i i have literally never done that in my entire life not even with simple things like food. Like I've never gone to the shops and accidentally bought a loaf of bread when I've already got bread. I've never done that, ever. Maybe because I've not got the money to do stupid things like that. But, yeah, I guess Phoebe's just loaded. How do you accidentally buy another portable radio? I suppose the only time you might accidentally buy two of something is if you're preparing for, like, a holiday. Maybe you, like, bought another suitcase because you forgot you had one up in your loft or attic if you're in America or something like that. So it's cool, I promise. Oh, and I'm not trying to fob off my hand-me-downs on you. This is the new one. Yeah, I bet it is. I bet it is, Phoebe. This is the crappy one you found under your bed, ain't it? You kept the new one. Right, let's quickly make a bunch of bait and let's go fishing. And let's try and get myself a Mahai Mahai and a giant Trey Valley fish. I think what we'll do next time I record this game, uh, I don't know uh, what the playthrough is going to be like from this point onwards because I'm recording this on Thursday as you've already seen and tomorrow at the time of recording Metopia finally comes out so I'm obviously going to be playing that on YouTube and I feel like that's going to be a good one. I know Mr Smith said he thinks it's going to be a very funny playthrough because in that game you create the characters, you create your allies and stuff like that so just for that reason I can like turn some of you guys and girls into like the villain and stuff like that so I think it will be pretty fun but I'm going to be recording that a lot so uh, I've also got Returnal to upload still and I'm also uh, doing Pokemon um, Snap so it's going to be a very large variety of games, but you might have to wait like a few days between each episode of certain games and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it might be like, it might be Returnal one day, it might be Metopia the next day, it might be Animal Crossing New Horizon the next day. Maybe I'll do a few double uploads occasionally if I end up with too many videos, but yeah, it's going to be, going to be a big variety of content on this channel. I like it like that. I do like doing large things. I like sticking to one game at a time, but I also like doing... Just big, big bulks of games. Because it keeps it fresh. Because if people don't like the game I'm currently playing, then well, they're screwed for the next 30 days, isn't they, if I'm playing just one game. Some people just watch my videos to listen to me, though, which I appreciate. I know uh, Steve King said that to me, that he said sometimes I play games that he won't necessarily be a fan of. Not very often, because I think he, he, he's another person like me that plays a lot of games on lots of platforms. But I don't think he has a Nintendo Switch. Or I think Wolfmoon has one, but I don't think Steve King uses it. Because Wolfmoon is Steve King's son. They've both been subscribed to me since 2014. Because I run an ad on YouTube. You know, you can actually run your videos as adverts. I had one run on YouTube back in 2014, and that was actually how I got Steve King to subscribe and his son Wolfmoon. So maybe I should do that more often. It does cost money though, and you have to spend a substantial amount of money to make it worth it. But um, yeah, he said that he don't really watch some. He doesn't like some of the games, but he watches just to listen to me, which I take that as a big compliment because I always I consider myself boring sometimes. <laughs> But I think we all do. Like anybody that makes videos, they probably watch their own videos and they're like, ah, I don't like this. But then other people love it. Well, I do like some of my videos. Some of them I do rewatch. I watch my videos a lot more nowadays than I used to. Now that I'm in a better place mentally. Because I used to hate just looking at my face and hearing my own voice. I used to hate it, literally hate it. But as I'm a bit more in a better place now, thanks to all the counselling and that, I do watch my videos a lot more now. Which is good, because then I can see what I've already spoke about in my videos and make sure I don't repeat it. Because <laughs> I've noticed I've done that sometimes. Right. 
Good thing about having a portable radio, actually, is we can set it down. Well, actually, no, it scared the fish away in real life, but as this is a game, we can set it down and listen to some KK Disco. Right, this rod is green, so we should have some good luck. Oh, crap, we just scared one away. Hopefully that weren't a big boy. Oh. There could be other fish that I don't have as well anyway, so even though we're looking for those two specific fish, we might also find some other cool fish as well that I also don't have. But as we are continuously fishing on the pier, we most likely won't really find too many more new ones that I don't already have. I've, all, I've forgotten how big the actual shadow is for the biggest fish, because it's been a while since I've seen that really big shadow. I think the last time I saw it was maybe February. So I don't really know how big it actually gets. I think if you keep scattering um, bait in the water, I think it does it does bring a new fish over. So if you've got a fish you don't want, like a shadow, I think if you put like another lot of bait, I don't know if it gets rid of that shadow and makes a new one appear, I'm not too sure. Or it might be a waste of bait, I don't know. I suppose I could try it, but I don't really want to waste bait. It takes too long gathering bait. But yeah, I've spoke about this uh, on my channel before, but as I'm doing fishing at the moment, I may as well mention it. Um, I've been doing YouTube for a lot of years. My first YouTube channel was, um, it was named British Wolf, capital B. I've got no idea what the thumbnail was. Um, and it definitely won't have any cover art, because the last time I logged into this account would have been like 2008 probably. But uh, I lost access to it, because I, uh, I lost, I forgot the password. And to reset the password, I needed access to the email. And the email that I used for that YouTube account, I didn't have access anymore because it was a fsmail.net um, email. It was part of Orange. And uh, I lost access to that account because at the time I had just started talking to, uh, yeah, to uh, Samantha and that. And because I was sending so many emails, Orange closed my uh, email account because they thought I was spamming and they wouldn't give it back to me like a bunch of kids. So I lost access to the uh, account, so I was never able to log into it again. But uh, on that on that channel, it should still be on YouTube. I don't know where it's gone. It's called British Wolf. Oh, sweet! But it's called British Wolf, and um, I've got about 50 to 100 videos on there of me fishing. Whether it's like, I caught a butterfly fish, did it change from a caterpillar fish? <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. But uh, yeah, I had... Um, I had about 50 to 100 videos on there. At the time when I used to upload, they were uh, five star or four star rated. And it was various different things. Sometimes it was montages of just photos I'd taken when I went fishing. And uh, I'd have like Eminem music in the background. So uh, yeah, most of those have probably got copyright claims now. I had like vi videos where I would show you how I had to do like specific like knots, like fishing knots and that. Uh, sometimes it would be like full on me catching fish videos and it was all very low quality 480p because I used to have to use my mum and dad's video camera that recorded with cassette tapes and then I had to use a special app and cable to get them onto the computer. So I've been doing videos on YouTube for a lot of years but I've not been able to find this account. It was named British Wolf and it's got about 50 to 100 videos on there of me fishing. And they should still be on YouTube, I never deleted them. But I can't log into the account even if I do find it but I suppose I could like... I could like download the videos and then upload them to a new channel, I guess, because they are my videos. I'm not stealing them, they're bloody mine. So I suppose I could do that. But if you find that channel, Wolf More Bets, I will give you £100. Honestly, I'll give you £100. £100, I promise. Find that account for me. British Wolf, it's now. I mean, if you write British Wolf in, my other account might come up because I've made another account called British Wolf. I haven't used it for anything, but uh, I made it just so I've got British Wolf again. And uh, But if you do find that one, it should have 50 to, at the top, when I made it, I had 100 subscribers and about 50 plus videos. I'm not sure what the ratings will be like on it because when I was making these videos, it was still the star rating stuff. But yeah, if you find that account, I'll give you, I'll give you 100 quid and I promise that I'll pay power to you. Or I'll buy you a video game and send it to your address. Seriously, I, I mean that. Find the account for me and I will. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, that's actually good, because I think the oarfish leaves um, at the end of May, so yeah, I've got it already, but I caught an oarfish. I hope I catch more fish. <laughs> that make a nice thumbnail, that will, but I've already got it. 
Flipping off, forgot about that fish. Well, we're having a good day's fishing at the moment. Yeah, I've been on YouTube for a lot of years walking with it. <laughs> Man, I really do miss the five star rating. I really miss it. The five star rating just was so much more better. I don't like the likes and dislikes, it's boring. To be honest, if I had my choice, I would have a system like Facebook as an ad on. Because likes and dislikes are so pointless. Like, there's no value in them. Like, somebody dislikes your video, okay. Well, what didn't you dislike? Because most of the time, they don't bother to leave a comment. So you don't even know what they disliked. And uh, the same thing with likes. Like, okay, I'm glad you liked it. But what did you like? You don't know. With a, with a system like Facebook, you've got haha. You've got angry, you've got like, you've got love. So it gives you a little bit more of an indication of what people thought about your video. So if there's lots of haha, you know that it was something that was probably funny. If there was, a, if there's a lot of angries, then uh, depending on the type of video it is, you might piss someone off, or sometimes it might just make sense. Like if you made a video about, I don't know, maybe if you'd been robbed in real life and you made a video about it, there's going to be a lot of angry reactions, isn't there? Because people are angry about the fact that you were robbed. But I just feel like. Facebook system could be useful for YouTube. I don't know if you guys and girls would agree, any of you other creators that watch me, but I, I feel like it might be useful. Likes and dislikes are just pointless, really. Comments are where it's at for me. It's all about the comments. Because comments are, people tell you what they like. Comments are very valuable. That's a zebra fish, isn't it? Yeah, zebra turkey fish. That is one disgusting fish. It reminds me of that dinosaur in Jurassic Park. You know, the one that spits at the fat guy and then eats him. I don't think we're going to get this bloody fish at this rate. I hope I haven't like made a mistake and these fish are not available. Because they were added in May, I think. Mind you, it was an IGN article and IGN are pretty stupid. So uh, maybe I've, I've like screwed myself over. But we have found a lot of new fishes, even if I don't find these ones. Man, IGN sucks so much. Especially for reviews. The most hilarious one for me was Aliens Isolation. Let's play the game on hard mode, complain the game's too hard, and give it a lower score. I think it was IGN that did that. Or the one where they reviewed the remake of Sapphire and uh, Ruby of Pokemon. 7.8, too much water. It's a fucking island, of course there's too much water. That's like saying England, too much water. Well, of course, we're a bloody island. <laughs> and there isn't too much water in Sapphire and Ruby. You've got one little town that you can go to in the bottom of the ocean uh, that has a lot of uh, water because you have to pretty much swim, uh, yeah, you surf to get to this like little area, like uh, the tower where you catch Rayquaza. That's surrounded by water. And there's like a few little like pathways you have to take with like fishing, uh, swimming like people that want to battle you and stuff. But I don't think there's too much water in Sapphire and Ruby. Just in the bottom area. And also, a big theme of the bloody uh, game is water and earth. Because Groudon, I think his name's Groudon, that's like, that's ground, ain't it? Land. And then water for Kyogre. So, <laughs> it's like a big part of the theme of the game. I, I don't understand. Some re I just don't like reviews in general. I'm not too bothered if I'm not catching these fish because I'm just after big shadows at this point. I'm being very unlucky. Mind you, my sister was pretty unlucky when she was trying to get a tuna on the end of the pier. I think it took her about 100 baits to get that bad boy. My sister does play a lot more than me. She's better, at, better than me at this game. She knows more than me as well, I think. <laughs> Come on, fishy. Don't you want to eat the rubber ducky? It's delicious. Tastes like duck. Mate, this fish really, really doesn't want to eat this duck. I can't. I can't position myself where his face is. There we go. Jesus. I thought I missed it then. I was going to say, all that time for nothing. Oh, what is that? Oh, the olive flander. I think there's another one called a dab in there. I need to end this video, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use up the rest of my bait first. 
Ouch! As always, the little fish goes straight for the bait. Don't even take a little nibble first. Straight in there for the kill. Once again, apologies if you can hear the kids. It's now half ten, so uh, they're having their second break time now. <laughs> As I spoke about a lot in the previous video, if you saw that. If you didn't see it, obviously go and watch it, because it's, it's quality content, boys and girls. Also, notice I'm wearing this top. I ain't wore this top in bloody ages. That was a much more cautious little fish. That mackerel is a tasty fish, ain't it? Obviously, being a vegetarian, I don't eat it no more, but oh, mackerel is a tasty fish. Mackerel, halibut, cod, all of them. Delicious. Sea bass. Well, I mind eating some of the sea bass in this game because they're bloody everywhere. Don't stop taking up all of my uh, bag space. But you want the uh, shadow that's bigger than that shadow. Oh, look, speak of the devil. Delicious sea bass. Some mashed potatoes, lovely. Big old chunk of sea bass. I'm the worst vegetarian in the world, ain't I? <laughs> I am the worst vegetarian. Come on, at least let me end this video on something different. I mean, we did catch something different today, didn't we? We got the, uh, what, what was it? The, the butterfly fish, wasn't it? Yeah. Come on, game. I've only got one more bait after this. Maybe that's the lucky final bait. I think uh, maybe if I do come back to fishing again, maybe I will search for something a bit different. Maybe we'll go to the pond and start searching for a frog or something. Come on, please, 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 please. Ah, oh, the smallest bloody one. Oh, maybe we'll get a new fish. I think these smaller ones have been a bit more lucky for me, actually. Oh, damn it. Oh, well, never mind. Right, let's, uh, let's quickly get a nice thumbnail. Let me get me old, get me old camera out. I love that you can make thumbnails really easily in this game. <laughs> I think I might make that the thumbnail, to be honest. Because then people are going to be thinking, well, why the hell is B-Wolf crying? So they want to click on the video. And I, I am crying because I didn't get the fish I wanted to get. I mean, I did get a new one, though, but... <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolfmobets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I think what I will do... Uh, I've not got 100% uh, sure what I'm going to do with the next uh, few videos, but I think one thing I am going to do probably in the next video is we are going to go swimming, because I haven't actually done any swimming in this playthrough. I think I've been in the ocean once, and that was for Gullivar to find his communicator, and I think I might have found some seaweed, maybe and maybe a crab or something, I can't remember. But I haven't found basically anything in the ocean. So we could go out into the ocean and spend quite a bit of time just like bobbing for some new creatures and stuff to give to Blather. So maybe we'll do that in the next video. And I'm not too sure what we'll do after that. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll do some more island related stuff and uh, maybe start crafting a few more things on my island and that make it look a bit more beautiful. But yeah, thanks for watching Wolf and Wolf. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.